I like to start all of my lectures these days with, with a really powerful meditation, which uh, if there's any kundalini yogis in the room, you know Ego Eradicator. Uh, anyone not familiar with Ego Eradicator? You may have seen, oh, there's so many newbies, it's so good. Um, you've probably seen, if you follow me on Instagram or Facebook, rooms of hundreds of people doing this, right? It looks like very wild. Um, well, now you guys are going to be the room of hundreds of people doing this. So, so Ego Eradicator is just an amazing meditation to bust through the blocks. And it's Saturday, and you probably woke up casually, hopefully, and you got here in a normal speed. But there's always the stressors that come up, even on a Saturday. Traffic, maybe there was issues trying to check in. Probably not, because Annette, who runs my events, is like a machine, so there's probably no issues. But you know, whatever it may have been for you, maybe just you know, feeling hungover from the night before, feeling a little disconnected, uh, there might be something on your mind that has been holding you back or keeping you stuck, um, maybe a relationship issue that you're just holding on to, maybe financial fear that's not being let go of, uh, maybe just life is just getting you down. The beautiful thing about this meditation is that we'll just bust through those blocks. It will cut through the chaos and it will bring the energy of this room together in a real radical way so that we can have a very sacred workshop together today where we can, even if it's just for the next hour and 40 minutes or however long we're here, even if it's just for that period of time, we can let go and we can allow. And we can just put those fears aside, we can put those stressors aside, and we can have a very elevated experience together. So you guys want that? I know I do. Okay. All right, so I'm just going to line up my music, okay? Um, I'm going to go to my Bust Through the Blocks playlist here. And um, I'm, I'm on, right? Yeah. That's, oh, you're awesome. Okay, so here's how we do Ego Eradicator. First, let me teach you the hands. So you've got your fingertips very tightly pressed up against the pads of your hands. So when I talk about the pads, like those little kitty cat pads, right? And they're very tight and the tension is very important because the energy needs to move through. Your thumbs are anchored, in, and your arms are at 60 degrees, your thumbs are anchored into the sky, right up into the sky. And, hey wah. <laughs> and your arms are, are, are locked right in. And you've and you're got a lot of tension in your arms, so there's no flappy elbows. We've got arms tight and tense. If you're sitting next to somebody, just stagger a little bit so you don't hit each other. You guys look amazing. Okay. You can drop your hands. The breath. Before we begin teaching breath of fire, I want to make sure, because there's a lot of people who are new to kundalini yoga and meditation, is that we all are breathing properly. Everybody could just take a, a moment to put your hand on your stomach and just breathe. And on the inhale, make sure your stomach is extending. And on the exhale, your diaphragm comes in and up. Inhale, it comes out. Exhale, in and up. Has anyone been breathing in the opposite way? Yeah. Do you feel very um, uncomfortable normally? Like you're kind of stuck and things don't work out naturally? Yeah, because your breath is your most vital source. Your breath is the most important thing we have. And, and if we're breathing in the opposite direction, it's as if we're strangling ourselves. So that's, that'll be your first tool for today, is just making sure that throughout the day, check yourself. Am, am I properly breathing? Is this yogic breath set in? Making sure on the inhale, your stomach extends, and on the exhale, it contracts. I had been a spiritual teacher for six and a half years, breathing the wrong way, until I found these people. So, you know, it doesn't matter. If that's where you're at, no judgment, right? You know that a lot of what we do in my practice is about bringing that magnifying glass onto ourselves and looking very closely at our behaviors without judgment, being that non-judgmental witness of our behaviors. So today, if you start to notice, oh my God, I'm not breathing properly, or oh my God, I haven't dealt with that in 25 years, or oh my God, I've been really, really inauthentic in my relationships, or whatever comes up, awesome, let it come up, be kind, be gentle. Be mindful of being that non-judgmental witness. And that's a big commitment I ask you all to make today, is to be willing to look at your stuff, but not judge it. Big time, right? Okay. So let's all get our arms up, ego eradicator, just making sure that our spine is straight and your head is in, and your neck is in neck locks, which so is a little bit of pressure on the back of your neck, just making sure you're in great alignment. Closing your eyes and beginning your breath of fire. Oh, I didn't teach you the breath of fire. <laughs> Oh my God. Okay, so breath of fire is like this. Now we know how to breathe in and out, right? And breath of fire is a rapid breath in and out your, in and out your nose. 
Everybody got that? And your stomach is going in and out. Now, if at any point you start feeling dizzy, stop the breath of fire. Just start breathing slowly. And if you're on your period, in the first three days of your period, or if you're pregnant, do not do breath of fire. Just long, deep breath, okay? But if you do get dizzy, just long, deep breath. All right, everybody good? Arms up, ego eradicator. Make sure there's that tension in your fingertips, in your fingers to your pads of your hands. The thumbs are plugged into the sky, eyes closed. Now begin your breath of fire. Sitting with your eyes closed, relaxing in this space. Take a deep breath in. Just allow yourself to sit there, peaceful.
ready, open your eyes to the room.